Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Capricorn. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. It will not resonate with every Capricorn and it will not resonate with every Capricorn cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have someone rising or Venus placements in Capricorn or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my, all my extended readings. If you're interested, click the join button below. Personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule a personal reading with me. Um, and don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. All right. So let's shuffle one more time. I don't know. They told me to. So. <laughs> All right, what's going on with my Capricorn Collective? What do they need to know at this time? All right, so we have new love. All right. So you guys, oh, so it looks like um, you guys are maybe letting go of an ex and it's going to lead to some type of happiness um, or there's some type of new love interest that's coming in that's going to make you really happy. This maybe looks like it could turn into something um, long term. If this isn't a new person coming in, then it's just you're finally letting go of somebody and it's going to lead to a lot of happiness. All right. Why did I just see against time, though? Hmm. Tell me more. Bad intentions. So somebody. OK, there's like two different energies here. OK, um, I do feel like you guys. Yeah, I was seeing this card when I was shuffling the opposites card. So I'm picking up on two different energies here. I feel like you have somebody new coming toward you. Now that and you're trying to let go of an ex and it's manifesting a new person and this new person looks like they're going to make you very happy. If this isn't new love coming in, like I said, this is just you letting go of an ex and it's going to lead to a lot of happiness and fulfillment for you. OK, being happy, single on your own. Um, But I also see this other energy of this person feeling like that may come in and rush towards you or they know that they're on thin ice with you or. They are taking a really long time to make a decision about this connection. There's something about this person, though, you need. This person doesn't have the best intentions. Or there's red flags with this person. There's maybe lies or secrets. I don't know. I feel like this person's possibly doing this. See, I so, me, so what Spirit is saying that there is somebody here who I'm, I'm feeling like it's this energy. This person that feels like they need to rush in. Somebody does not want you to find your happy ending. Somebody does not want you to let go of them. Somebody does not want you to find new love. So at some point, somebody's about to rush in here with not the best intentions to try to block this, to try to block your happiness, to try to block you from finding somebody new and moving on. Um, this is somebody that you had a lot of conflict and drama with, a lot of arguing with. And it's because you and this person had like a lot of like big differences and compatibilities. Um, I also feel like somebody was very egotistical. Like you and this person just were not on the same page. They were somebody was more in an egotistical energy and somebody was in their heart space. So, you know, those two things don't mix very well okay um oof. all right so tell me about new love so we have closed heart oh so some of you guys are maybe a little bit closed off or maybe you were you're letting go of an emotionally unavailable person if it's not that some of you guys are maybe trying to let an ex go but you may not be open to yeah some of you guys i was gonna say abundance earlier um Okay, so I'm getting two messages here. Some of you, you're letting go of an emotionally unavailable person that was avoiding true intimacy with you. Others of you, I feel like you guys are trying to let this person go, but you're kind of maybe focusing on yourself and you're focusing on maybe your money. Um, and you're not really like sure if you're ready to give your heart or open your heart to new love yet. Um, so tell me more about new love and closed heart. See, so yeah, we have divine intervention and we have a risk. So maybe spirit um, was kind of pushing you to take a risk and do something here or to, they gave you like a shift in perspective. Maybe um, they tried to show you maybe something about yourself like that maybe like you were dealing with this person out of low self-esteem or you were still maybe seeking some type of validation from this person or you maybe did have deep down have a fear of, you know, losing this person for good or something like that. Tell me about what this risk was. Maybe you guys had a fear of the unknown, um, even though they, it was toxic. It was your comfort zone with this person. So tell me what was this risk that the divine. OK, so we have hot and cold. Hmm. Maybe the divine's been trying to show somebody something about this connection or about you. 
and, and that they should like take a leap of faith and take a risk. But somebody has been kind of like, eh, about it. You know what I mean? Like they didn't know if that's what they wanted to do or tell me about this hot and cold energy. So we have cleanup and mirroring. So maybe there was a need on both ends for you and this person to heal. Like maybe you guys are both in need of healing, um, mirroring each other in some way. Like some of you guys really needed to cut, both of you needed to cut, like clean up your lives or cut some negative people or things out of your life. Um, hmm. Tell me more about what this, what's this risk mean for Capricorn? See, unrequited. Okay, what's that to do with the risk? Maybe you guys felt like you like, ah, okay, that's what this is. So you guys, yeah, you guys felt like you were, you, you're letting go of a person where you feel like you were very open and vulnerable with this person. You would like kind of put, you wore your heart on your sleeve with this person and oh, this person was just super hot and cold with you, wishy-washy. They didn't know what they wanted. You feel like it's unrequited. Like you feel like it's one-sided. You feel like you love this person and they don't love you or that the feelings are not mutual in some way, okay? Um, that you guys are maybe starting to feel like this was destructive. You know, it's destructive to you. You know, it is destructive. You're trying to, you know, chasing after somebody that doesn't love you because we do have runner here. So this person, yes, yeah, is avoiding the connection, running from themselves, ignoring you. There are some things that this person doesn't want to um, face about themselves. Um, and I feel like, yeah, this person refusing, playing the field, refusing to commit grass is greener syndrome, um, broken promises. So I feel like you guys feel like now you need to be more protective of your energy or that's what spirit is saying you need to do. Um, I just feel like you guys are starting to realize that maybe you have like an addiction to this person, addiction to the toxicity with this person, or, um, it was destructive, you know, you chasing after this person that was not returning their love or blatantly telling you that they didn't feel the same way about you. All right. So tell me about happiness. We have shocking events. What's that have to do with Capricorn? And we have twin flame. Oh, so some of you guys may be unexpectedly meeting like a twin flame or encountering some type of intense soul connection. All right. What does this have to do with this, this bad intentions person? Oh, now we have wedding. Now, why are they wanting to... Mm. So seeing a future with you, taking it to the next level, they choose you. What does that have to do? What does wedding have to do with happiness? Clarity, uh-oh, clarity that what? Hmm, someone's maybe having a clarity uh, Clarity that they had a fear of falling in love or they had a fear of something, having a new beginning, starting a family with you, but somebody does not, yeah, somebody does not want, yeah, somebody's getting some type of clarity about you. What is, so tell me more about what this shocking events or this happy, what does this mean for finality? So somebody was not expecting you to let them go and be happy without them. I told you, somebody does not want you to be happy or find a happy ending if it does not involve them. I see it here. So this is somebody that's been holding back. They've had fears holding them back. Um, all of a sudden, so I feel like this shocking event, or maybe you guys got some type of clarity. Yeah, I feel like maybe something happened that you weren't expecting. It could be for both of you because we do have that seeing the future with you. They may not be telling you this. But something happened with a twin flame connection or a soul connection that you, it gave you some type of clarity that you needed to not give this person any more chances that you needed to cut them off for good. All right. Or this is what's going to happen going forward. So what does this mean for this person? See, they're not hiding. They're still trying to hide their emotions. They're wearing masks. Okay. Um, I don't know. What do they truly feel? What are they trying to hide from Capricorn? Wow, guys. Wow. Isn't this crazy? What in the hell? <laughs> Look at this, true love. They're hiding that they have unconditional love for you. That they feel whole when they're with you. That they literally love you and they are not wanting to show you this or express this to you. They're holding back, maybe out of fear. All right. I feel like maybe this person also thought that you had unconditional love for the, like, I don't know, guys. I just see that they've definitely been holding back from you. But I feel like something happened or it's going to happen. I'm getting, you know, tower energy off of that shocking events card where you're going to be like, you know what? I got to really let this person go. Like, you're going to be like, I can't, this person's so egotistical. Like, maybe you guys even maybe feel like deep down, you know, that this person does love you, love you. But the fact that they won't admit it to you and that they're being so egotistical, like something, tell me more about what happened that is making Capricorn feel like they have to really let this person go. What is making them feel like they have to let them go? What happened? What was this shocking event? What made them feel like they had to cut this person off and give them no more chances? 
Okay, so they rejected you in some way. They made you feel rejected. They misled you. They broke your trust in some way. And they're very unreliable and wishy-washy. See, so yeah, here we have ghosting. Hmm. Or maybe that's, I feel like that's what you guys are doing. You guys are cutting off all communication with this person. Give me one more card to tell me what this person did that made Capricorn want to be done with them. You guys had an inner knowing about something. It's like the fact that you guys know that this person... You guys know that this person's been watching you or keeping tabs on you. You Like I said, you guys may even know that this person has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. But um, I just feel like, yeah, look at this. In an unplugged feeling stuck, cannot escape it. What made them block this person? Money is tight. Waiting. I don't know, a lot of things. I just feel like this person's maybe not financially stable. Um, they, they think that they can keep you waiting or something. I don't know. We're going to get more clarity on that. But it's just like, you know that this person feels this connection too and they don't want to express this to you and it's out of ego. Maybe you wanted this person to meet you halfway. They're not doing it. Weird. I feel like you. some of you guys know that this person has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. Someone's wearing a facade. I'm telling you, they're high. I don't know. Why is this person, they're going to come back. I'm telling you guys. They feel like they're going to feel like they ran out of time and they're going to come back and want to make something up to you. But see, but maybe this is you guys not knowing if you should, you know, go back into this with them because they're always stringing you along. It's always a repeated cycle. But um, so, yeah, let's see. Why is this person holding back from Capricorn? OK, so they could be going through a divorce or maybe they have been divorced before. They've had complicated relationships. Why are they holding back? Maybe they don't feel like they can start anything new right now. Hmm. Why are, why are they holding back? This doesn't make sense, spirit. <laughs> this is, I need a clear message. A lot of times they give me like what I need to know and not what I'm asking them. I just saw 12, 12 on the camera. Why is this person holding back? Give me more clarity, spirit. Some, yeah, exactly. Something from the past is making this person hold back. So they had some type of complicated, toxic relationship that ended in a divorce or they've just had some bad relationship experiences or something. What about gossip? Hypnotized. What does this mean for this person? Feelings, hopeful, foolish. Hmm. person's all up in their head about you all right let's get we're gonna get more clarity about all that but let's see tell me about against time tell me about against time somebody may feel like you're abandoning them or what does this person feel like they have to hurry up and do something or somebody feels like they have to hurry up and do something yeah come up with some type of strategy what about angry why are they mad they're mad that you're moving forward yeah they're mad they're, they're mad that you're no longer chasing them so if you guys really stop chasing this person and cut them off completely, they're going to get triggered and they're going to feel some type of urgency to come in and want to try to fix something with you or they're, they're, they're trying to plan their next move because this person is not happy that you're moving forward. I, I see that here. This person tries to hide this. They may even try to play it off like they don't care. That's far from the truth. Tell me about bad intentions. See, something is brewing and phone call. Yeah, you're about to hear from somebody. If you, if somebody's going to come toward you, somebody's going to reach like some type of breaking point and they're going to want to come in and fight for you. But with the bad intentions card though, what about this community? Oh, we have an engagement. Okay. Why is bad intentions here then? Maybe just, you're going to feel like you need to see running, runner, a new cycle. What's this have to do with Capricorn? First love. Why is runner here though? Abundance. What's, this do, what's runner mean for this person? Love bomber. See, I don't like that. Be aware of this person trying to come in. Like, I see you guys like maybe not talking for a while. And then once you get back out there and start dating again, expect to hear from this person. And it looks like they may be coming in to love bomb you. Yeah, playing games still. So just be careful. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. They're going to do things to try to keep you from moving on. That's what I'm seeing from this. Tell me more about this person's intentions. See, they, their intention is, they feel like you're worth the trouble or 
Are they, it's like, I don't know, guys. They, they want to fight for your love or fight for this. Okay, so they do want to have like a new cycle with you. They feel like you guys can be in, abundant together. So what's the problem then? Proof. They want to come in and get proof that you're, maybe this person wants to come in and see if you started something new. See if you're doing well without them. They want proof to see if maybe you're single. What's this mean for them? See, what about star karmic connection? They may, they're maybe healing from some type of karmic connection. So there's somebody that is going to take some time to heal from some type of past turbulent relationship. Yeah, past. Somebody needs to take some time to heal. And then all of a sudden, tell me about my rock. Someone's going to want to come in. I feel like they're going to come and engage you. What about options? Third party. What about this third party? Love offer spotlight. I just feel like, what does options and third party mean for this person? Something about this person thinking that you're going to, they don't, them not wanting anybody Yes, exactly. Right as I said that. Something about them not wanting anybody else to have you. This person has always felt like in the right time and you guys would be able to be together or something like that. But there's something here about this person feeling like you have options and that there's competition for you. That's making them want to come in and take this more seriously. Come in with a more serious offer here. I feel like they're going to come and engage you to see when they're going to come back at some point. I feel like it's not going to be any, like, I don't know how soon it's going to be, but I do see you and this person spending some time apart and they're going to come in and try to gauge you to see if you have somebody new, if you've moved on, if you've started a new cycle with somebody else. Um, so kind of like testing the waters before making a decision to offer something more to you. But I do see healing and I do see them healing from some type of past bad relationship. So and I feel like maybe Spirit is saying that you needed to heal too because that came out with mirroring. So you and this person maybe both um, have like traumas or something from, I don't know. You guys maybe both have had bad relationships or something like that. Or uh, maybe it's even inner child wounds, all right, that um, you guys don't need to heal from. So we have the two of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, someone's been trying to make up their mind about something. Maybe somebody felt like they... They had an inability to commit or, let's see, tell me more. They had a lot of other obligations. So somebody's indecision or something like that, a cycle of non-commit, like a non-committal cycle is coming to an end. We have um, Libra energy here. Yeah, somebody's going to want to invest. It's like almost like they're, that's their goal is to be able to invest in you or to offer something more stable here. I don't see here, but we have Page of Cups in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody's emotional emotionally immature or somebody's trying to um somebody's insecure or they're they're being a, yeah ne neglecting inner child that could definitely be an issue tell you about the two of pentacles in reverse page of wands in reverse somebody has been make has somebody has maybe felt like they weren't ready for a commitment because they have self-limiting beliefs like they didn't believe that they were ready or that they were capable but this may not, it's like they're kind of maybe being a little, or they are immature. Like they're just not ready. They do have lessons to learn. They're also kind of just lazy. They haven't been wanting to put too much effort and work into this, or they're distracted by other things right now. Like there's a lot of other things that this person has maybe felt like they needed to focus on or prioritize, especially we did see divorce there. So maybe this person has felt like they needed to obviously, you know, focus on getting that divorce finalized um, first. Tell me about the world. Okay, that flew on the floor. See, there's something here. I don't know if this was supposed to come out upright or if this was come out, supposed, supposed to come out with um, reversed. But yeah, there's definitely been like an ending of a relationship. But I feel like this person's going to want to try to bring that. Like, something is ending. Let's get more clarity. What's the world? You have Aries Leo Sag energy here too. What's the world mean for my Capricorns? Okay, so we have the Page of Pentacles. What is this about? This person thought that. What's the page of pentacles? What was the, what did they plan? That's not happening. Something about this person thought that you were going to accept them for like the way that they are right now or something like that. This person thought that you would accept them as a page or something like that. Page of pentacles. They're having very little to offer. They thought that you would accept that, but I feel like you guys are not accepting that with the four of cups. You're rejecting this offer. 
or you just know that that whatever they're offering you is not going to fulfill you. And I feel like this is not what this person was expecting. I feel like that, that they had some type of plan or they thought they had a certain like expectation and it didn't happen that way. Um, what does the two of wands mean for Capricorn? See the full. I, yeah, there's like leap, leap of faith energy here. Like you guys maybe feel like it was really hard for you to move on from this person and let them go. Like, and the situation wasn't great, but I feel like you guys are feeling like it's not going to get better now. And that it's time for you to take a leap of faith in a new direction and just have faith. Yeah, just have faith. Um, what about the seven of pentacles? You guys maybe feel like you invested a lot of time, energy, love, whatever into this connection. And that's maybe why it was hard for you to move on from it. See, what is this? What's this mean for Capricorn? Eight of Pentacles, working on what? You're working on self-love, okay? You're working on self-love, um, healing. And this person, what's this five of swords reverse mean for this person? See, they're all, they're, mm, I don't know, guys. They're going to want to re reconcile with you out of jealousy. Well, tell me more about what this means. Five of Swords in reverse. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. What does this have to do with Capricorn? I don't know. You guys are being very stingy with your energy now. You feel like this person really hurt you. Like, this was a big loss for you. Um, yeah, you feel like this person betrayed you or if this was a loss. This was definitely a loss. And maybe this situation sent you into crisis. Or it was just painful having to walk away from this person or having an ending with them. So I see you guys are in this like self selfish energy. Like you're not, you're, you're being careful about your investment with this person. I see that they're going through financial issues. They're very unstable. They're very, um, I don't know guys, what energy, what's this person's, what are they doing? What action are they taking here? See, Ace of, see, what is this? Ace of Wands reverse. They have a lack of direction and passion. So what does that mean for going forward? Yeah, that's why this person isn't applying pressure when it comes to you. Like, they're not accepting your effort. They're not accepting your love. They're delayed. They're blocked. They have a lack of knowing what they really want. They have a lack of drive and passion. They're distracted by other things. Very guarded and hesitant. And that's why this is coming to an end. So, yeah. You're withdrawing from this and you're focusing on healing. And setting boundaries. You're, you're getting a lot of clarity about the situation and about this person. But this this person, what about the Page of Swords? They're maybe about to learn a, a lesson. See, they still, why is the Ace of Pentacles? Oh, this person's on the lookout. They're on the lookout here. They're, they could be watching you, spying on you in some way, or they're really curious. They want to know what's going on. They want to know if you're, you've received a new love offer, this Ace of Pentacles. They want to know if there's competition for you. Look how this person on this card's like, you know, they're on the lookout. This person's going to be observing you in some way or they're going to be very curious. Um, keeping something, they're going to be curious or they're going to ask you, like, if there's competition. There's, yeah. Well, are they going to do anything about it? We have temperance. What about temperance? Sagittarius energy, three of wands. They're not doing anything about it right now. Maybe this person's waiting until they heal. But I just still see them wondering, like, has Capricorn moved on? Have they found somebody new? Yeah, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. You have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here too. Yeah, they're not gonna, they're, they're stuck right now, guys. Yeah, there's, you're, you've lost hope and faith in this. Yeah, you're moving on. Tell me about the Page of Cups when you're trying to move on. What's the Page of Cups in reverse? Maybe you guys feel like you didn't listen to your intuition. You kept putting energy into this. Someone, this person is not in their heart space at all. And I feel like this person has not been listening to their intuition or they're very emotionally immature. I told you, very ego driven. It could be an Aries, inflexible, stubborn. They want things their way or the highway. All right. Um, they want to have control and power. So what's that mean going forward? The high priestess in reverse. So yeah, they're not able to see things. They, they don't they don't see it. They have a lack of accountability too. Hidden motives, possibly. What about that high priest in reverse? King of Pentacles. Then this person's like unable to see that this person thinks they're hot shit or something, guys. They think that there's this king of pentacles. 
but they're really the nine of pentacles in reverse they're really this knight of wands reverse like this person is kind of delusional prideful egotistical uh, yeah Yeah, I just still see, like, at least in the near future, a lack of cooperation, a lack of teamwork, a lack of compromise here. Yeah, the lovers in reverse Gemini energy. So, yeah, I just see you guys focusing on yourself and practicing self-love for right now. I just still see there being disharmony between you and this person. Um, someone is not healing from the past. Like, somebody is not t doing what they need to do, and it's blocking them. It's blocking some type of stability um, somebody has huge fears of tra change. Um, okay, let's get a few more and then we're going to take it to the extended reading. See, Nine of Cups, what's me going forward? The Devil. Hmm. Someone's very selfish and guarded, self absorbed. Somebody is obsessed. Somebody's going to become very obsessive about you. Because you're going to be happy without them. And you're going to be, like I said, very happy and abundant without them. You're going to be standing your ground and you're staying firm in your boundaries. And so that's what Spirit is saying because the devil is Capricorn energy. So Spirit is wanting you to know that if you stand your ground and you keep your boundaries in place, be more protective of your energy, that you have wish fulfillment coming in. Well, we have the moon in reverse, <laughs> the nine of swords. Yeah, this person tries to hide from you that they are losing their shit with the fact that they're, they're blocked. They can't move on from you. They're getting some type of clarity about you. What is this clarity that they're getting? What kind of clarity are they get, getting about you? What kind of clarity is this person getting about you? Mm. I feel like this person's really deciding that they don't want to give up on this. Hmm. What's the five of cups in reverse? The Empress. And what about the seven of swords? I don't like that. The nine of swords in reverse. I feel like this person did. Hmm. I just see this person being very blocked. Like, I just see them not being happy without you. And it's like almost like this person is feeling like they're forced to make some type of decision or grow a pair here. Um, what is the three of cups in reverse and the straight card? Leo energy, heavy Leo energy here. Five of pentacles in reverse. Ace of cups in reverse. What's the name for this person? See? I don't know, someone's snapping them out of their illusion. What's this mean for Capricorn? What's this mean for Capricorn? The tower. I don't know, guys. I just see something happening that's going to give you clarity about how you need to handle this person in this situation. I don't know, guys. I just see them, like, kind of, like, they're not going to be able to move on from you. Like... Because you're the empress or the emperor. That's the problem. They're the emperor in reverse. Oh, they're going to get clarity about this. Yeah, they're going to get clarity about this. I'm telling you, this person's going to realize that they can't move on from you. They thought that they were going to move on and they were going to be happy, that they would find peace with the situation. But with the hangman, like it's not. They're not going to find that. I see a lot of stagnation. I see a lot of blocked energy here because you're the empress. Taurus energy. Four of swords. You've withdrawn. You're not speaking to them. What about the three of cups reverse? They're going to feel like they need to hurry up and make a move. Why is that? I'm telling you, I see it all over this reading. Why is that? Maybe because you're not. Why do they need to feel like they need to do that? Mm, I feel like for some of you, it's control and power. 
or the, no, it's them getting a new outlook. I'm telling you, they're going to start looking at you differently. I do see that right now. They're kind of really egotistical, but they're going to start getting like this new outlook on you. Like, I don't know if it's because they're going to just, they're, they're, your feelings aren't going to dull. They're, the feelings that they have for you aren't going to dull. Um, they're not going to be happy without you. Things aren't going to be going well for them without you in their life. There's something that's going to shift their perspective. I see it here. And they're going to come back in this energy, feeling like they need to hurry up and rush in and fix something here or do something. So like I said, I'm going to take this over to the extended reading. We're going to take a deeper look to see um, what's up with this person, what's going through their head, what you can expect them to do, um, the feelings, intentions, guidance, timing, all that will be in the extended reading. Um, the link will be in the description box where you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. Um, personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule a personal reading with me. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.